circuit bending about six years or so, and I've been ble working for Leap Labs for four years. So basically, it's an interactive sound installation that consists of circuit bent devices and Leap Lab synthesizers, and they're all plugged into effects and mixers, and people can walk up and make their own little noise symphony, and uh, we can make recordings of that. Okay, so uh, we decided that uh, it's good to good to get back to your roots, remind people of their childhood. So we have a couple of the famous Casio SK-1 keyboard with lots of modifications to make them glitchy and unpredictable. There's the other one over there. And uh, of course we've got the Speak in Math, another relic from the 1980s that uh, now makes very, very strange noises. And uh, even farther back, the Touch and Tell over there. Which I can see you've modified a little bit. We have, we have modified. <laughs> and, uh, we've got a drum machine here that's circuit bent, so if you want to make beats and have those glitch out, you can do that. We've got everything running through uh, delay pedals for some extra extra effects and uh, going through a couple of different mixers. And we've got headphones so you can listen to what you're doing. Tell me about the little guys here with the LEDs. These are called the Thingamagoo. It's an analog and digital synthesizer made by Bleep Labs. They uh, they have a photo cell that changes the sound, and they've got both analog and digital modes, and lots of fun with uh, switches and knobs. And then we also have over here the PAL 1980X. It's a small synthesizer that Bleep Labs designed for Neon Indian. So tell me, what was the inspiration for this project? Um, the inspiration for this project was mostly me just enjoying making noises, making electronic music, and especially circuit bending, taking things like a keyboard or a drum machine and modifying it to make new sounds. And it's something that anyone can do. You don't really need a lot of technical skill to do it. I've also been working for Leap Lab, so I enjoy making synthesizers, and we thought we would kind of marry the two ideas, both modifying existing instruments and building our own and give other people a chance to play with them. What kind of reactions do you get from this? It, it's good. Some people can't quite figure it out. Some people are shy about actually putting their hands on the on the instruments and making noises themselves. They just they, they kind of want to look at them or uh, watch other people use them. But really, we want people to be able to just walk up and get their hands dirty, so to speak, and make their own noises. All right. Thanks. Thank you.